patient who had Harris revealed that the patient has underlying health conditions but is quote medically stable. He wouldn't divulge other information such as the gender or age of the patient. However, Maxwell Air Force Base later said that it was a civilian employee at the base. Um, our understanding at this time is that the patient uh, was uh, felt unwell on returning home and has self-isolated themselves since they have been home. Uh, this person uh, continues to not be out in public or in the or in the community, but is isolated at this time. The case comes as the number of new cases in the United States continues to grow and more events have been canceled. State School Superintendent Eric Mackey told reporters that the system is canceling all conferences scheduled for this month and next. He recommends schools limit gatherings like school assemblies. In Montgomery, health officials now are working to retrace the victim's recent steps to identify and notify people who may have come into contact with the patient. Randy Murphy, the top epidemiologist at the Mobile County Health Department, says that's a race against time. It involves getting the names from the patient and can even include things like looking at restaurant receipts to track down people who might have had incidental contact. The good news about coronavirus is, again, it's respiratory droplets. It's not airborne. So it's people who came within six feet of, of contact of um, the case or who you know might be sort of prolonged. Um, for prolonged periods may have been around. Identifying a patient's contacts is key to containing the spread. Estimates of the coronavirus's transmission rate have varied. The World Health Organization in January determined that every infected person gives the disease to 1.4 to 2.5 other people. Other studies have pegged it anywhere from 1.5 to 3.5. If the true rate is 2, for example, that means a single infected person passes it to two others, who then infect two additional people each. Those four newly infected individuals then infect eight more people. The faster epidemiologists can identify and isolate the sick, the greater the chance of heading off the spread before it spirals out of control. Experts also caution that many factors can influence the infection rate. A sick person who remains at home will have less chance to expose others than an infected person in a large, tightly packed crowd. That's why sporting events and other large public gatherings have been shutting down. And Harris faced some tough questions today about why state officials are divulging so little information. He said officials wanted to protect the person's privacy, but Florida and other states have been giving out basic descriptions such as the age and gender of the patients. Reporting live from the newsroom, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.